guys what is up and welcome to or welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a little bit different from my channel I've been trying to think of a few different styles of videos to film and different topics to film about so I'm not bombarding you with like a bunch of makeup videos and fashion videos right now because honestly this is such a weird time for makeup and fashion because it's like in between summer and fall and I really want it to be fall so I'm kind of just holding out for that today is September 1st though so it's kind of like the unofficial start of fall. It's still incredibly hot here. It is like 80 degrees out today, but I have my apple pumpkin candle burning. I don't know if you can see it up there, but it's amazing. <laughs> Anyways, like I was saying, today's video is going to be a little different. We're going to be chatting about habits and specifically habits that I want to try to establish this semester um, or this fall season, in other words. Um, so that's kind of, I'm gonna touch on things that like I do right now that I kind of want to change, but also habits that I kind of just want to implement that like have come out of nowhere. Before we jump into it though, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I upload videos two times a week, so I would love to have you back here. And now let's get into all of these habits. Okay, so I have two school-related things, and then the rest of them are, like, not school-related. So if you're not interested in the school stuff, skip forward or just hold out for a few minutes. So the first one is I really want to be more on top of it when it comes to studying, specifically for a few of the classes that I have this, semest this semester. So I'm taking anatomy and physiology this semester, and... That's obviously a really big foundation for my career field and classes that I really want to do well in. And I've always done well in previous classes, but I feel like I've kind of always not crammed necessarily for all of the classes. Like I've studied in advance, but I haven't really had the best like studying techniques. So specifically this semester, I really wanted to try to start making study guides for those two classes in particular and kind of a few other classes this semester and classes that I have in future semesters. Just making a study guide, like kind of adding to it after each lecture and after each thing I read so that I can kind of already have something to study off of when it comes time to like really buckle down and study for the test rather than once it gets to like two weeks out from the test like having to make this all at once because then I feel like I spend all my time just like making the study guide rather than studying from it so this semester I really want to try to be preemptive with my study guides and just start them a lot earlier and just build off of them as the content builds so that way I have something to study from when the exam rolls around and I'm not like kind of struggling to find materials and things to study from. The next one is a huge one that I really want to change. So I want to try to not do homework immediately before bed, which is going to be incredibly hard because if you're also a student or have been a student in the past, you realize that it's really difficult to get everything you need to get done finish in a given day because there's just so much you have to do with readings, assignments, homework, extra videos you have to watch, you name it. It's all thrown in there in my agenda. But I really, really want to try to not be up late doing homework. I would kind of like to cut off my homework at like 11 o'clock if that's possible because honestly on days where I'm trying to get a lot of stuff done and accomplish a lot of things for my classes I feel like I will spend the whole day doing work up until the time I go to bed it'll be like midnight 12 30 1 o'clock sometimes and I'll still be like trying to get things done that don't aren't necessarily due the next day but trying to just finish things up and although I'm doing work all throughout the day, obviously I'm taking little breaks here and there to like go on my phone, look at different things, watch videos, like just take a break and do other things. But I feel like if I plan that time more efficiently, um, I would be able to take that time before bed to relax and do the things that I like wanted to take breaks doing throughout the day. So it's kind of just a combination of planning better throughout my day and not getting distracted. So that's something that I really want to change. So I do not want to be doing work right before I go to bed because I want to take that time just to relax and have me time. Obviously, it's not good to cram a lot of information right before you go to bed anyways. So that's something that I would really like to change this semester. The next habit that I want to establish is actually taking time to relax and eat dinner. Now, I know I just said in the previous one <laughs> that I would rather be doing work all day so that I could relax before I go to bed, but I feel like this is something that's really important to do, especially to establish for the future when I have a family of my own and stuff. Um, I think it's really important to just focus on eating dinner, even if it's by yourself or with your roommates or something 
typically I will work through lunch, like I'll have a salad or something and do homework or catch up on some videos that I have to watch for classes or even just like look at assignments and plan stuff out in my agenda. So lunch, I'm typically like working through and not like taking time just to eat my lunch and breakfast. Sometimes if I'm going to class, which is not right now, I'll just eat breakfast on the go or just like eat something while I'm getting ready in the morning. So I feel like dinner is a time where I can just really sit down and take like 20, 30 minutes to just relax, maybe watch a show on TV while I eat dinner or talk with my roommates, people that I have over, if I have anyone over with COVID, or even just having like complete silence and sitting there and relaxing and having dinner. I think that is way more beneficial than sometimes what I'm doing now, which is like catching up on schoolwork and stuff while I'm eating dinner. So that is something that I really want to establish this semester is having a meal that doesn't involve doing other things like schoolwork and activities on my phone and stuff as well. The next habit that I want to create or kind of change, I guess, is not wearing makeup every day, which is going to be a little bit difficult for me once fall and winter rolls around because I love wearing makeup in the fall and winter time. I just think that fall and winter makeup is the prettiest. It's the most fun to do, in my opinion. Um, but I've kind of gotten used to this with COVID and wearing a mask. And honestly, throughout the summer as well, I don't really wear makeup that often. And being at home in the springtime, I wasn't really wearing makeup every day. So I've kind of gotten a little bit used to this habit, but it is something that I want to establish and carry out through this fall semester and then the winter semester and subsequent years of my life as well. Um, I noticed that my skin does do a lot worse in the fall and winter time partially because my skin is getting a lot drier which makes it a little bit more prone to breakouts and just having uneven skin texture and coloring but I feel like makeup really amplifies that a lot. I'll get into it a little bit more in my next point as well, which is also about makeup, but it obviously is so healthy for your skin to not be wearing makeup every day and not clogging your pores up every single day with makeup. Yes, I'll still put on my morning skincare and leave it on throughout the day on those days that I don't wear makeup, but I just really don't wanna cake a lot of stuff on my face every day throughout the week. And that's definitely gonna be a little bit more of an adjustment if we do attend in-person in classes this semester and also the uh, winter semester because I like getting done up for classes and dressing up and looking cute but even just taking one or two days out of the week um, even if that includes weekends like a Sunday or something which is obviously a very chill day to not wear makeup it's definitely a plus for your skin. The next two kind of go hand in hand but I'll speak about them differently. So the first habit that I want to establish is washing my makeup off earlier at night. So right now being back in classes and being back at school I've kind of noticed this habit reemerge. Um, I'm washing my makeup off so late at night, like 10, 11 o'clock, because especially when I'm like cramming and doing work late at night before bed, I typically like wrap up one school activity around like 9, 30, 10 o'clock, and then I'll start maybe doing like another reading or something before bed after that. So in the period between those two activities is when I'll usually wash my makeup off, brush my teeth and stuff, and that's typically around like 10, 10, 30, 11 o'clock sometimes at night, which is absolutely ridiculous. And I feel like that just makes my skin look so much worse the next day, clogs my pores even more, and doesn't really help contribute to the efforts I'm putting towards resolving my dry skin. I typically notice whenever I leave my makeup on for an extended period of time throughout the day that my skin does look incredibly dry at night when I wash it off. So I'm hoping that washing my makeup off earlier, maybe around like six, seven, eight o'clock at the latest will definitely help with my dry skin and honestly my complexion in general. So that is something that I really want to establish. I know it's sometimes hard with like club meetings and stuff at night that I have around like 8 30 9 o'clock sometimes and working sometimes until like 7 7 30 p.m i'm not always gonna get around to washing my face off like right when i get home from those things but i would definitely like to not leave my makeup on for as long as i do now and the last one is washing my face fully every single night and i know this one sounds like a little bit gross and unhygienic now i do wash my makeup off every night and put skincare on make sure it's like clean and stuff all my makeup residue is off my skin but sometimes I just 
don't take the time to really like exfoliate and wash my face with like a face wash every night after I wash my makeup off, which is such a bad habit to get into. Like I brush my teeth every night. Why can't I also wash my face in that time? Um, I just feel like I've established that habit with school and wanting to get so much done at night that I'm like, whatever, my makeup is off. It's fine. I don't need to wash my face, but really I should be washing my face at night to guarantee that my face is indeed clean before going to bed and before putting uh, skincare on after um, removing my makeup. So that is something that I want to get in the habit of doing is making sure that I use a face wash on my skin in addition to also washing my makeup off at night. And the last habit that I have to chat about is a fun one. So I want to start rewarding myself more. I feel like everyone could use a little reward here and there from themselves. And this is actually something that one of the students in like the orientation for my program, who happens to be like a senior or I think she graduated, was talking about. She was saying that at the end of the semester, she will buy herself a piece of clothing that may be a little bit more expensive that she has neglected buying herself throughout the rest of the semester. Or after an exam, she may go get food from someplace that she doesn't get food from all the time and is a place that she happens to enjoy. So I kind of want to start doing that a little bit more. This isn't to say that on a regular basis you can't like buy yourself clothes or something out of the blue or go pick up food from Chipotle if you don't feel like cooking, but I do want to sprinkle a few times throughout the semester doing those actions as a reward for something that I put myself through, whether that be a really difficult exam that I had been studying for for a long time or completing the semester or even just like a really long weekend at work. I don't know. I can't think of many other things, but you know what I mean. This isn't intended to like deprive myself of not buying something if I see it in a store and really want it or going out with friends to get a bite to eat or picking up food from somewhere if I don't feel like cooking. It's really just meant to implement a few rewards here and there. I'm not talking like every single week, um, but just here and there to remind yourself that you are doing a lot of work and to keep your spirits up and motivation up because that's something that can be really hard with being a student and with life in general. All right, so those were all of the habits that I wanted to chat with you guys about. I hope you enjoyed this video. It definitely was a little bit of a different style video for my channel and something that I haven't really like talked about too much, but if you guys wanna see more just like informative kind of sit down lifestyle videos like this, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any other video suggestions, definitely leave them in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end of this video. Like I said in the beginning, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Two new videos go up on my channel each week, each week. So I would love to have you back here. But thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye.